Hi guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a really quick um, tutorial featuring some of my favorite um, bare mineral shadows. So I hope you guys like this. I am starting my fall shadows and collection for that. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. All right, here we go, guys. So I'm using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm tapping that on my lid. And next I'm going to go in with the Georgiana, Georgiana Continuous Almond Shadow Pencil and I'm going to spread that all over my lid and then tap it in with my finger. Next up I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Loose Shadows. Uh, the first one I'm going to use is Bisque, which is actually also a um, concealer. It's like a dual color. Then I'm going to blend that up onto my highlight area using a just a regular like shadow brush and then I'm going to use um, pebble in the crease which is one of my favorite loose bare mineral shadows right now as a transition color Then I'm going to go in with Here Kitty. Um, I'm taking a sample of Here Kitty and I'm blending it with a Sonia Kashuk crease brush and it is amazing. Amazing, amazing. So I'm using this Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm just really blending it in. I just want it to be super blended and super soft so there's no real harsh lines. And then next I'm going to take a pointed um, shadow brush, like a, a pencil brush, and put that in again with your kitty right on the outer V area just to kind of darken it up. And in my inner corner I want it to be really defined. Next I'm taking Max Fix Plus and then I'm going to go in with True Gold. Um, this is just an eyeshadow brush. It's like a flat um, eyeshadow brush. And then I'm taking True Gold. It's a, another loose shadow from Bare Minerals and I'm just patting that in my eyelid area. I want to make sure that, that color is extremely concentrated and um, right on my lid. All right, so I'm taking that um, pointed crease again, which has the Here Kitty, I didn't add any more, and I'm just kind of blending that line in. I don't want it to be too defined, and I'm taking Pebble on the bottom and Here Kitty, and just smoking out that lower lash line. Just because I think doing that kind of finishes off a look and doesn't leave it, so hey, you forgot. Then I'm taking my Rimmel Scandalize, um, Cajole pencils in black. It's the only one that I can really use on my waterline and my tight line. So I am I tight lined, and now I'm doing the waterline. Next up, I'm going in with a um, small smudger brush, and I'm just going to smudge out that line again, just to ensure that I have all of those colors smoked in. I may or may not have used. Um, Oh gosh, Coffee Bean. It's a liner shadow from uh, Bare Minerals as well. Because the black can sometimes be a little harsh. Next I'm taking my Essence Gel Liner and an angled craft brush and I'm going to do a winged liner with this. I'm going to try the gel liner for a while and see if I can master this technique before fall. So I kind of like edited it. <laughs> so we'll see. 
I can never really get my eyelids to match. I don't know if there's a trick to that, but I try. Um, yeah, they definitely don't match, but it's not something that's like super noticeable and practice makes perfect, so. Next, I'm going to go in with my false lashes. I'm losing, I'm using Love Lashes, number 213s. Um, I don't show them to you, but like super quickly. Um, I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara for this. There's the lashes. Showing you a close-up of my eye look. Absolutely love these colors for fall. Um, next, I'm going to jump right through to my lipstick because I decided to edit out my blush and my foundation routine. This is Be Free from Bare Minerals. I really like it. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know any requests down below. Thanks. Bye.